using that hair to scoop up Sebastian Rose. Rose might be wishing that he had a crew cut after this one. Only Sebastian Rose could be overconfident going into a match with Bobo Exactly, Brazil. he's like the only one I've seen who's overconfident wrestling Bobo. Bobo though with a rare misstep. Mrs. Rose and Rose just going to town in that upper back of Bobo Brazil. Couple of boots into the midsection. Well, and Sebastian Rose, you know, Sebastian Rose needs to use his, his quickness. He use, needs to use his speed. Watch the tempo of this match. If, if, if it's up tempo, it's a fast paced match, that will favor Sebastian Rose. Exactly. But that X Factor, Norm, that X Factor is Dr. Jerry Graham, who is at ringside right now. That huge European uppercut. Well, I know Sebastian Rose likes to make the make fun of Bobo Brazil's age and Jerry Graham's age, but you know, age could end up being a factor in this match. Oh, if, you're right about that. It's you know, if Bobo is able to have the match at his pace, you know, chug along where he wants to, then he's going to have the advantage. But if it becomes a power game, Bobo's got the advantage. Bobo Brazil is one of those wrestlers who gets better the longer the match goes. And maybe that's how things will play out here today. A couple of scoop slams delivered on Sebastian Rose. Just when you think one wrestler has the advantage, things quickly turn. And that's how it is here in the WWE. We're seeing that right now with Sebastian Rose and Bobo Brazil. Well, let me ask you, who do you think has the endurance advantage in this match? You know, conventional wisdom might say Sebastian Rose. But knowing Bobo and that slam onto the outside, there's no padding out there, Norm. No, none whatsoever. It's just carpeting. But, you know, looking at the career and knowing Bobo Brazil the way that both you and I know him, uh, I'd, I'd give the stamina advantage to Bobo. I've never seen him get tired. Rolls Rose into the ring, unfortunately left himself exposed. And Rose once again just stomping away at Bobo Brazil and now goes in for the choke. Well, Sebastian Rose is ever the opportunist. Well, and I think if Sebastian Rose is gonna walk out of here with the championship, it's gonna be as much as we can't condone tactics like this, it is gonna be tactics like that that he's gonna to have to employ. Well, if it's if it's hold for hold, it's power for power, Sebastian Rhodes doesn't take a chance. No, not at all. He has to do this. Well, and he knows that, and he's not opposed to, uh, you know, uh, bending the occasional rule or five. Punching back and forth again. This is probably a battle, though, that Sebastian Rose does not want to get in. Bobo's gonna take it, and he's gonna dish out even more. Oh, and Rose is wheeling. Back and forth. I don't punch Bobo oh. in the head. That's what you get. Well, if you're going to throw punches at Bobo, the chin can be effective. The forehead is not no, going to be effective. Not at all. You're going to hurt your hand. So how long do you think Sebastian Rose is going to wear that handprint on his chest? <laughs> Probably until we come back here on March the 7th. I have a feeling you're right about that. On March 7th, you'll still see that handprint. Off the ropes, big clothesline, Bobo goes down. More of a shoulder tackle on that one, at least from our vantage point. Sebastian really threw his body at that, which is gonna be, again, what he has to do. And he's gonna try oh, look a at this. slam. Oh wow. my gosh, and a sit-out slam. I, I, I have never seen anyone do that to Bobo Brazil. Wow. Sit out slam on Bobo Brazil. I, I've never seen that happen. I, I'm really just uh, at a loss for words right now. As I you know you are too, Norm. That, wow. He's taking that stomp, going all over the body, and now he thought twice about that and goes right into the choke. He will have that five count to break it. And he waits almost till the count of five, finally breaking the hold, goes for a cover, hooks the leg even. Not enough to put away the champion, Bobo Brazil. Side headlock applied by Sebastian Rose. Now we're seeing some technical wrestling from Bobo or from Sebastian Rose, Look I should say. Look at the say. cocky grin on Sebastian Rose's face. He thinks he's got the upper hand. And both wrestlers go down off of that shoulder tackle. I'm not surprised on that one. It really takes a, uh, a huge head of steam to knock down Bobo Brazil and you're probably gonna take yourself down in the process. Well, if anybody has a chance against Bobo Brazil, they got to pack their lunch because they're going to be here for a while. Oh, exactly. Exactly. And now they're on their knees punching. They're not even standing, but again, we're seeing these punches back and forth, back and forth. Champion and challenger right here in the WWE. Oh. What was that? Oh, you got to be oh, kidding no. me. Sebastian Rose hit the referee. Was it inadvertent? What was the deal there? 
Oh, the now Bobo. hit the referee. They want at each other. And there's that Coco butt. Who knows what either one's thinking at this point. They just want a piece of each other. Jerry Grant is on the ring apron. And is the, is the referee letting this continue? Apparently so. Oh! Oh, no, you're kidding me! Oh, no! Sebastian Rose just hit Dr. Jerry Grant. That's totally uncalled for. Well, we're seeing a boxing match. Graham is down. Bobo is chasing Sebastian Rose. They're outside. I think the referee is tossing this one out. We'll yeah. wait for the official word. They cannot control this match at this point. They're still going at it outside the ring. Well, we got a double disqualification. The referee has thrown this match out. Well, I got to tell you, Norm, if it wasn't going to be a double disqualification, it was going to be a double count out. Is it looks like both Sebastian Rose and Bobo Brazil are going to fight all the way back to the locker room. Oh, a big headbutt by Bobo. Jerry you gotta Graham. Believe this is the last we've seen oh, of these no, two. Not at all. And Jerry Graham has to be beside himself for what Sebastian Rose did. Sebastian Rose hitting Dr. Jerry Graham. Douglas and Lasky, WWA Superstar Wrestling is back in town. And once again, we're going to get a defense of the WWA Heavyweight Championship. This guy, Bobo Brazil Jr., nothing settled last time against Sebastian Rose. This time, it gets settled in a street fight. Dr. Jerry Graham in Bobo Jr.'s corner. Let me tell you how a street fight works. They come in the ring with their street clothes on. There's absolutely no rules, no disqualification, no stopping because of blood. And they start ripping and shredding and tearing until a person's entire street clothes are moved down to their wrestling trunks. The first person that all their clothes are ripped off is the loser. And to do that, you've got to really do some serious damage because the guy's not just going to lay there. I know Bobo's not going to lay there and let Sebastian Rose rip his clothes. I'm sure Sebastian Rose isn't going to lay there either. So this is going to be the ultimate savage barbarism, a street fight match, the championship on the line. Bobo is more than up to the task. He's ready for it. We can't wait. Bobo Brazil Jr., I know you've been in these matches before. Been in a lot of these matches. And you know what, Sebastian? It's one thing you don't know about Bobo. I'll take it to the top was one of these matches. It's something I love to do, you know. When I get up in the morning, I don't like putting my clothes on anyhow. So if my clothes get too off, don't even worry about it. You just worry about just whooping them I'm going to give you. Because, you know, last time, <laughs> last time you gave me everything you could with everything you pulled out. He pulled out chains. He went and got a <clears throat> pan away from up under the bed. And then you tried to hit me in the head with a wrench. So that's why this street fight is coming down. I get a chance to do what I want to you, and you get a chance to do what you want to me. But you know what? March the 7th in Toledo, I'm going to whoop you from pillar to post, and I'm going to rip your clothes off. You know, you man, I'm ripping clothes off. I remember one time I had to do that before, and I ripped this guy's clothes off, and then I beat him all across the ring. Don't let that happen to you when we get to Toledo, March the 7th, because I'm going to whoop you, Sebastian, the way you want to be whooped. He is the son of a legend. He's a budging legend himself. He is the WWA heavyweight champion, Bobo Brazil Jr., defends his WWA heavyweight championship on Sunday night, March the 7th, in a street fight against Sebastian Rose. You are not going to want to miss it. Not this time. It's Sunday night, March the 7th, Somerset Hall, the corner of Douglas and Lasky, WWA superstar wrestling back in town. And on that card, there will be a WWA heavyweight championship bout. The champion, Bobo Brazil Jr., in a street fight, will take on this man. He is Sebastian Rose. Where is my championship? Where is my title? It's being held hostage. Bobo did everything he could to make sure that match ended without a real finish, without an athletic finish. Now he's got a street fight. They want us gnarling and tearing at each other. I have to go through all these jumps and all these angles just to get what's mine, my title. With some old guy in the ring, I can come out here, I can say a bunch of bad things about him, I can bury him, but you know what? I'm going to get him in that street fight. I'm not used to tearing a man's clothes off. I'm sure Bobo's got a lot of experience at that. But what I'm going to do is beat him down so bad, he'll be ripping his own clothes off just to get out of the ring and give me my title. My championship belt! My title! Mine. Easy, easy. Sebastian Rose, Bobo Brazil Jr., a street fight in Toledo, Somerset Hall, March the 7th.
you're not going to want to miss it.